Hello and welcome to the Medical Sales Podcast and I am your host, Samuel. In this podcast, I interview top medical sales reps and leading medical sales executives across the entire country. And it doesn't matter what medical sales industry, from medical device to pharmaceutical to genetic testing to diagnostic lab, you name it, you will learn how to either break into the industry, be a top 5% performer within your role in sales, or climb the corporate ladder. Welcome to the Medical Sales Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Medical Sales Podcast. I'm your host, Samuel, and today we continue our discussion with Justin Lohman. He's one of the co-founders of a software called Rhythm that allows sales professionals to really get their territories in order. If you haven't listened to part one of this interview, stop listening right now and go listen to that first. If you have, then you're in the right place to stay tuned for part two. As always, thank you for listening to the Medical Sales Podcast, and I really do hope you enjoy this interview. Form, it, it's impressive. Uh, I think it's it's exactly what you said. Uh, I, I look at it, you know, I, I got to play with it a little bit, and I look at it like it it tells you where you can be the best resource within your territory. And yes. and it just and, and it, you know, with that at the core, with that concept at the core, it just helps you build out from there. And then it the the AI does the work for you as opposed to you trying to figure it out and then making mistakes and maybe getting a, a, a time wrong or an office wrong or, or you know, the human error that happens. So that that is very cool. What I wanna know is, you know, I'd like to believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, Justin, I'd like to believe that there was a moment where you said, okay, you know what? Something has to be done about this. I don't know if, if you had some, some tech friends and you said, guys, what do you think about this idea? Talk to us about whenever that was, if, the, if it had happened that way and, and when it was. Yeah, so great question that definitely had that moment. Um, what I started doing is I would go to a new town not know where to be it was totally inefficient driving all the wrong directions you know go into office and they're like oh if you were here before nine well i would have been there before nine had i known that you right. know it's all that information so i started looking around to see if this technology existed and i talked to a lot of people in medical and pharma and nobody knew of anything they said have you tried salesforce and i said yeah everybody has it doesn't do what i'm asking for it's that next step and so I only knew one person in, in tech. And this individual actually invented the first smartphone. I mean, genius, okay? And how'd you, so, how'd you know, how'd you know, wait, 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 wait. You invented <laughs> the first smartphone, so you gotta tell us, how did you know him? I mean, how was that person in your circle? Good family friend. And so um, I knew he would take my call and, it, you know, really, it spurred on an interesting discussion that lasted for months. And so he started tinkering around and, you know, he called me back and I'd actually kind of forgotten about the conversation at this point. I was like, just doing my thing, working my butt off in the field, having a good time. You know, I, like I said, I love sales and I get a phone call and, you know, I answer and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And hey, I think I'll take on this, this project for you. And I thought to myself, uh oh, what did I get into? <laughs> but it was the best thing because I knew I was not the only person. You know, I was riding with people all the time and they're asking me, do you have any suggestions? And at that moment, I thought to myself, we got to build it. And I want to build it from a salesperson's perspective, not an engineer's perspective. I don't want features that an engineer thinks we need. I want features that salespeople know they need, and that's it. Just things that help you be more efficient and use your time wisely. And if you're spending your time in the right places, at the right times, with the right frequency, talking about the right message, you're going to be successful. Got it. No, it's, it's well said. Okay, so then, you know, just to make it abundantly clear to yep. any of our listeners on who should be who would find value in this product you know let's say you're you're a representative and you 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 know your schedule you know where you're supposed to be you got everything pretty organized for the most part uh, viva is something that you're very or viva I'll use viva as an example something you're very common uh, you're very comfortable using or hubspot something you're very comfortable using 
and you're 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 hearing about rhythm, why should that person look into utilizing rhythm? Yeah. So okay, let me let me talk about who our target audience is. Who can we help? Right. We don't want people downloading this and things like that if it's not going to help them. So let's be clear about this. There's really three types of salespeople that rhythm helps the most. Okay. Salespeople that are new to medical, pharma, dental, or eye care. I'll just call that the medical space. Okay. If you're new, it is going to be overwhelming. If you're three months in, you're nodding your head as you're listening to this podcast going, Amen. Somebody understands my problem. Okay. We do. Okay. Salesperson number two, the salespeople that want to be more productive, sell more, plan less, increase their rankings, make more in commissions. Type of people that Samuel, you speak with and help on a regular basis. Sure. Right. The third type of person is salespeople who've recently had change, whether that's changing companies within their industry, changing industries, or changing product lines. So if you used to work with rheumatology and now you're working with dermatology, that is not easy to change in your mind because you've had these habits that you've created. Hey, I go here on Thursday, I go here on Friday. Well, if those products aren't what your company wants you to sell, you're wasting your time and you're spinning your wheels. So this would help those types, those three types of people the most. Was that pretty clear? Yeah, that is pretty clear. So I guess my next question is, so what about duplication of efforts, right? Most companies, uh, they're, they're, they provide a platform for their, for their employees to, to utilize in the field. Um, and now you have your tool, which supports that. But when I just think of it, firsthand, I think, okay, I'm literally going to duplicate my efforts because I, 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 I scoured my territory and made sure it's clean and has all this, all these providers and all these accounts and it's proper with the system that the company provided me. With this tool, I'm going to have to do it again and take all this time to do it again. How, how, how is that not really the case? Yeah, so there's a little bit of work. There should be in anything that you're going to be successful with, right? So the first month, you know, day one, you import in your information, not anything that can't be shared. It is your information. Um, along with that, your it's the, the AI part of rhythm is going to learn your habits. So what it's going to do is you put in a little bit of work in month one. It is not grueling or anything like that. Like I said, built for salespeople. Okay. It is literally the duplication is you taking the tip of your finger to your phone and saying, yep, I was there. Okay. So if you, if duplication is the big headache, uh, it doesn't get easy, easier than touching your phone, which is already in your purse or your pocket. I promise sure. you. Okay. Sure. Um, the other part of all that is with, with Viva or Salesforce or whatever CRM you're using. Okay. There is a gap. There is a gap that salespeople are saying, how can I be more successful? You can't lean on Viva to help with all this. So you can't lean on whatever CRM you're using. They're great at what they do. They just don't do this. Okay. So if you're one of these people in category two, type two, that wants to be more productive, plan less, just remember after about a month, it's all done for you. Mm -hmm. All of your planning for the rest of time while you're here. And by the way, if you leave, you get to keep your database. Now, for a company listening, a manager listening, okay, let's say our company purchases Rhythm and you know we're, we're gonna be using Rhythm as a duplication. Okay, well, depending on whatever package you want, if you want the Teams package, um, there is no user integration, but there can be with the enterprise level. But it can be something that you, Samuel, I know you've used Rhythm, you have this uh, visibility into your team and you can help them on a more granular level um, one of the most frustrating things when you're in medical or pharma is not knowing all the customers. You might know the top five doctors that somebody calls on or top 10, and you ask about them all the time, but you never really get into the nitty gritty. And you really don't dig on moving, you know, the people who are in trial stage up to user or advocate. And so it's really about helping every level. That's why I've trained, I've managed, and I've sold. I've enjoyed every facet of sales. But I've just noticed that this isn't out there. And so, I mean, if you're not opposed to touching 
your fingertip to your phone. I, I, don't, I wouldn't <laughs> worry beyond that. Should be pretty easy. And you know what? You know, I you know I, I wanted you to to speak on that, and I'll and I'll support exactly what you're saying, Justin. It's pretty it's pretty straightforward and fairly easy to use. Um, so this is this is exciting, you know. What what hopes do you have for Rhythm? You know, you've been able to pilot this with a number of people. Uh, you know it's valuable. You know it works. What do you see in the future for this for this platform? Yeah, so you just talked about the piloting, right? So we have users now, which is great. We've worked out a lot of the bugs and all of those things, which is, you know, part of all that beta testing and piloting. Um, we actually had a beta user double uh, sales in the territory over the course of a year. I mean, that's absolutely phenomenal, right? So an extra $50,000 in your pocket, I don't know that that would hurt, right? right. Um, what we hope is to bring technology, true technology, real sales technology to help people that are in these three categories, especially, right? We would love for individuals, we would love for teams, we'd love for enterprise, but right now we're focused on helping the new people, the people who are helping you know going through change and we're focused on people who are ready to turn it up a notch you know they're sick of being ranked in the middle their commission checks aren't as big as somebody else on their team and they're thinking i can do this i can i can i just need to get going right and so they lean on guys like you and people like me to help in these these areas so i'm i want to give back i want to help sales people understand through my experience and through you know my family friend uh <laughs> helping out with this kind of technology that really just never existed before that is absolutely excellent i love to hear it, justin well justin you know i always ask with my guests what are three things i'm going to give you three types of audiences here that i want you to to share that you'd like to share with them uh, number one the person that's trying to get into the medical sales industry What's yeah. something you'd like to share with them? Let's start there and then I'll jump into the other two. Yeah, so that's a really good question. I actually talked with a guy the other day who's sick of kind of his industry and he wants to get into pharma or medical, okay? Actually, I should send him on to you and I will. <laughs> um, all that being said, people need to realize the difference between big pharma, medium, small pharmaceuticals, eye care, dental, and then medical device, OR, there are different levels, right? There's small companies just selling a device, there's startup companies, you really should think about what you want and ask and talk to experts like yourself, that can point them in the right direction with their personality for success. So they're not spinning their wheels just trying to get in at you know, big pharma 101. And then all of a sudden they're like, I don't, I don't like this. Right. That that's a, right. that's a terrible way to start. Right. Um, no. I would do right. the research first. I wouldn't just take a job that somebody gives me. Yes. Excellent advice. Okay. The second type of individual, the person that's in the industry and that's really just trying to step up their game, be more of a recess to their territory, do more for the patients that they're, they're representing a drug or a device with, what would you share with them? First of all, Get a mentor or a coach. Second, look for the right type of technology for you. Start looking around. You know, rhythm, the first month is a dollar. <laughs> if you don't like it after a month, you're at a dollar, okay? Um, do the things that are uncomfortable. Do the things that you know you've cut the corners on, right? Um, plan better. Uh, talk to your manager or somebody you trust in the industry get a mentor, get a guide, find a trainer, network with people. These are all things that I would highly recommend. If you're listening to a podcast, you're already on this correct road. Read sales books, listen to sales podcasts. There aren't a whole lot. So right. find one you like, find two you like, and listen in between visits, um, you know, between, you know, you might have an hour drive, right? That's a great time to knock out a couple of podcasts. So that, that'd be my best advice for that number two type of person. Excellent. And then number three, leaders of the industry, decision makers, managers, decision makers. Uh, what would you what would you like to share with them? Um, also a good question, Samuel. Um, what I would say about leadership is times have changed and understanding that the reps needs are changing daily, weekly and monthly right? You might've had open access to people in the past that you don't 
you're having to really find workarounds, right? So it might be budgetary changes to up their lunch budgets. It might be understanding that some people need to work a few days from home because if you're in medical devices, it's setting up appointments a lot, right? So um, more Zooms, more virtual there, but trying to get people back into offices. Face-to-face -face is the number one way to sell, but it's also understanding salespeople are dealing with this change and it's hard. Um, you know, the one thing that's constant in sales is change. And so if you're just stuck where you are, you might want to look in the mirror and say, okay, how is how are things changing and how are we changing with it? What tools are we enabling our salespeople with, right? Is it just a CRM? Is it, you know, are we finding things that are next level to give our people the best shot at success? Excellent. Well, Justin, Rhythm AI, where can people find this platform? So go to our website, www.ri thmai.com. And let me just explain the name briefly. Rhythm is short for algorithm. Okay. There is an algorithm that takes into account all the variables you deal with in the medical, pharma, eye care, and dental space. So this medical space. Okay. And as a salesperson, Samuel, you know, when you're in rhythm or we are in the zone, you can't be stopped. So it's kind of that dual name with rhythm, which we thought was clever. Maybe you guys don't, but no, that's that, cool. now you at least understand the name. So it's R-I-T-H-M is the program and www.rithmai.com. Go on there, hit the orange button, try it for a dollar or call us. Excellent. Justin, thank you for the time. Uh, you're doing some amazing things out there. We look forward to more progress with rhythm. And uh, hopefully a lot of our listeners will be checking it out and using it. Please do. Samuel, it was an honor to be on with you. You're awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. You're great at sales. And if you're on the fence about joining one of Samuel's first, please do. He is super sharp and great to work with. Thank you, Justin. And that was Justin Lohman with Rhythm. Now, you might be someone out there that has wanted to get into the medical sales industry. But you don't have the sales experience or you haven't had a position in the past that had anything to do with medicine or you might think you, you just simply don't know what to do or how to do it but you're clear on this you know that you want to make an impact you want to have a career that changes the lives for patients and you want to be part of the contribution to help providers provide better care for those patients if this is you stop thinking about it stop wondering about it and let's do something about it. Go to EvolveYourSuccess.com and select Attain a Medical Sales Role. And set yourself up to have a conversation with someone from Evolve Your Success that can really sit down with you and go over how you can make this dream that you have an actual reality and get the medical sales position that you deserve. And if you're someone in the field and you're a, sales, a medical sales professional and you're thinking to yourself, you know, this year I really want to show up. I know that I can perform better. I know that I can be a better resource to my customers. I know that I can help this industry provide better quality of care to patients. I know I can do it, but I'm really not sure how. Or I've been trying and the things that I've been doing have not really been working and I'm ready to finally close that gap. Again, visit EvolveYourSuccess.com and select Improve Sales Performance and get, it, and get in touch with someone from Evolve Your Success that's going to sit down with you and really go over how you can close that gap and be the performer you were meant to be, be the resource you were meant to be, and really make the impact you know you were meant to make. As always, we do our best to bring you guests that bring resources, innovation, different perspectives, the know-how, the experience to the medical sales industry. So make sure you tune in next week for another episode of the Medical Sales Podcast. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And remember, I have a couple programs that show you exactly how to break into the medical sales industry, become a top performing medical sales professional, and also how to masterfully navigate your career to executive level leadership. Check out these programs and learn more at EvolveYourSuccess.com. Stay tuned for more awesome content with amazing interviews.